Eagles head coach Nick Sirianni and their GM Howie Roseman both spoke the past couple of days about the Jalen Hurts contract situation and why they're trying to get it done as soon as possible to beat out the Joe Burrow, Justin Herbert, and maybe even some other quarterbacks. Massive, massive extensions. We'll give you those details as well as C.J. Garner-Johnson continues to take shots at Philadelphia. Howie Roseman has responded. I'm Thomas Mott. This is The Thomas Mott Show. What's up, guys? Thomas Mott here. Welcome to the Thomas Mott Show on a Tuesday. Very interesting quotes from both Nick Sirianni and Howie Roseman on why they're trying to get the Hertz extension done ASAP. That way it can be maybe cheaper than both Joe Burrow and Justin Herbert coming up on today's show. First, though, quickly, I do want to mention... Big shout out to everybody who got the initial drop of the Philly Inverted hats that I launched on my show yesterday. These went like crazy. I still have both colors and styles in stock. Okay, I went ahead and put another order in for these as well. And I made a call to one of my local embroidery shops about some possible new colors that you guys were requesting. Those will be coming in the coming weeks. Going to be very, very sweet with some new styling as well. But if you don't know, I launched a, a clothing and apparel company called Philly Inverted. These are the products of the very first launch. If you want to go ahead and check them out, links down below in the description box. We have the closed back trucker hat and the flat built. This one comes in black as well. Also a little Kelly green down there. And there's a 10% off deal if you use my promo code in the description, MOT10. These things are absolutely fantastic. And the fact that you guys are overwhelmingly in favor of them is great. I appreciate everybody who did an order yesterday. They came pouring in when this show dropped. So if you have not picked one up yet, do it quick because I have a limited amount of stock, still plenty left. If you guys want to pick up a Philly Inverted hat i would greatly appreciate that very fun launching this and i think you guys are going to enjoy what's coming next we're only going to give or build more and more and make more and more and build this brand it's going to be great thumbs up for that okay let's move over here to what is going on with the philadelphia eagles and the quarterback situation as of course the eagles were really getting some interesting stuff as they wrapped up their nfl annual meetings where both the gms and the owners and the coaches are all there and we have some discussion about the Jalen Hurts contract situation and why they're trying to get it done as quickly as possible. Here's what Howie Roseman said, quote, We want him here long term. He's going in the last year of his deal. There's going to be a priority for us to extend him. We have a great relationship with him. You have to navigate the offseason understanding we're not going to lose our franchise quarterback with one year left on his deal. Whatever that means. It means that 2024 is going to look different. We're not going to have a quarterback on a rookie deal. We're going into it with our eyes open and understanding we've got to kind of flip it. A lot of guys on our team, especially on offense, have long-term deals. Not like we don't have a bunch of guys who aren't on long-term deals, end quote. So he's saying, we understand we need to get this deal done. That way we don't go into 2024 without a quarterback. He's entering the final year of his deal. Get the deal done as quickly as possible. Now, what I found to be very, very interesting about what uh, Nick Sirianni said is that they're trying to not only get the deal done, but they're also going to use him in the exact same ways they had been using him, even once he gets a massive extension, most notably running the quarterback. Here's what, uh, uh, excuse me, what Nick Sirianni had to say. Uh, we'll do is, you know, part of what makes Jalen special is everything that he can do. So um, we'll do what we have to do to win win football games, uh, no matter what that is. And, and Jalen, uh, you know, does a lot of things special, and we'll try to showcase all the things that he does special. We'll try to recap the things that, you know, that we did last year with him, and then try to add some new wrinkles uh, with different things that we do. Um, so... It would not. Yeah, we'll we'll do we'll do what we need to do to win games, and, and we're. We have a, a special quarterback, and we'll use his special abilities. We have a special quarterback, and we're going to use his special abilities, says Nick Sirianni, it's saying that the new contract won't mean they're going to run him less or try and protect him. They're going to protect him, but they're not going to you know, vanilla up the offense. That way he never gets touched, because no matter what, even if you try to protect your quarterback like they did with Tom Brady, he's eventually going to get touched. So really good stuff there. I also love this tweet from uh, Elliot Shore Parks that just popped up, and this is from Nick Sirianni earlier today as well. Quote, Nick Sirianni says Jalen Hurts has been in the facility working out like a maniac. Says Hertz isn't all the sudden different because his success last year. That's exactly what you want to hear from your franchise quarterback. Thumbs up for Jalen Hurts, even though he had an MVP caliber season, even though he was a couple plays away from winning a Super Bowl, he's right back in the lab and trying to go ahead and get better. Now, I bring all this up because Hurts does not have a contract extension yet. Right? He doesn't have a contract extension yet. And while 
I, it's going to happen sooner rather than later. We're in a very sticky situation where you want to get it done first before the other coaches and the other quarterbacks get their guys signed. That way you possibly can save a little bit of money. And I say first, I mean, look, there are a couple of guys, you see them on your screen, Pro Football Network has ranking them, but it doesn't matter what order they are in, who are reportedly talking to their teams about getting new deals. Joe Burrow, Cincinnati Bengals, Hurts of the Eagles, Justin Herbert of the Los Angeles Chargers, Tua, they exercise his fifth year option, might be trying to go ahead and extend him. Dak is getting a new contract coming up here soon. The point is, you have all of these superstar young quarterbacks looking to get paid. And when they get paid, it resets the market. And what you want to do if you're the Eagles is pay Jalen Hurts as quickly as possible. That way, Hurts doesn't look at a new Burrow contract and go, hey, Burrow got that. I also made it to a Super Bowl and lost just like Joe Burrow. Why can't I get a contract similar to his? You're offering Burrow $50 million. Why not give me 50 instead of 47? So the point I'm trying to make is that it feels like from these NFL annual meetings that just are happening this weekend that Howie and Sirianni understand the sooner the better to get the Hurts deal done. Now, just because Howie and them want to get the deal done doesn't mean that Philadelphia and the Jalen Hurts deal is going to get done before everybody else's. Jalen Hurts is not dumb. He has a very smart agent, and they could easily go, you know what, we're just going to hold off until the Burrow contract comes in, or we're going to hold off until the Herbert contract comes in, and then they wait to see if they can you know, get a little bit more. So that's something to definitely keep an eye on here. It does feel like the update from Howie is saying that they understand what is at stake right now, and they're trying to get this deal done as quickly as possible. Let me know what you would pay him. I'm hoping for 47. I think 47 is a totally fair deal for both his performance and the ability to keep big players going into the next five years of his deal. I think $47 million a year. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. And again, thumbs up for Jalen Hurts working in the lab, baby. That's what you want to see. You want to see Jalen Hurts working in the lab. That to me is the uh, best news you could possibly have in the case of the Philadelphia Eagles going forward with a young quarterback who's only going to get better. Now, Move over here to some more things that Nick Sirianni uh, went ahead and talked about, and that was the um, C.J. Gardner-Johnson situation. Now, if you don't follow me on Twitter, you, you should, at Real Thomas Mod. Uh, I retweeted a lot of C.J. Gardner-Johnson tweets over the past couple of days where he's, you know, saying Lamar Jackson is better than Jalen Hurts, and he's tweeting out an Eagle fan. He's, he's, he's basically done a good job of Eagle fans forgetting about him very quickly, and he's, you know, put the cap emoji, you know, it's a good, good fillyinverted.com, by the way. And he's put the cap emoji on some uh, tweets quote tweets saying that the Eagles actually didn't offer him a deal in the very first day of free agency. I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on with his situation right now. And yet Howie Roseman has refuted all of that, giving his update on the Gardner Johnson situation yesterday. Quote, I think when you get back to the start of free agency, we talked to his representatives. I brought, brought him uh, back here and I also talked to them about the fact that we had limited resources. It's no secret that sometimes relatively soon we wanted to extend sometime relatively soon. We want to extend our quarterback. Hmm, talked about that earlier. Uh, our whole kind of roster building is going to turn a little bit here from a quarterback on a rookie deal towards hopefully a quarterback on a long-term deal. Now that we have, uh, and not that we have anything done or anything, that's obviously our goal is to keep Joan Hurts here a long time and also, uh, and so you run out of resources. We were very clear that at some point we were going to have to go in a different direction. In those first couple of days, we tried and then pivoted. I think that's one of the most important things in free agency. You can go in with a plan. You have to be able to pivot and have other options and not get stuck with nothing. I think at that point, that's where we went. When we pivoted, that was kind of where it went, end quote. And so, Howie Roseman is telling you, they tried. They went to him probably first over all the rest of their free agents and said, hey, we want you to come back. We obviously got to sign Jalen Hurts. We can't give you exactly what you want, but here's a pretty fair compensation. We talked about those numbers. Three years is what it was looking like. And they said, no, 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 no way, no way. And once they realized that Gardner Johnson's agent people were going to be a little bit too difficult and not coming down on their price, they pivoted, and that's when they went after James Bradbury and Darius Slay and the rest is history in what was a very impressive offseason for Philadelphia. So I think this kind of puts to bed the whole idea the Eagles were low-balling C.J. Gardner-Johnson. The Eagles didn't want C.J. Gardner-Johnson. Or the Eagles didn't make an offer to C.J. Gardner-Johnson. They wanted him first, and the antics that followed kind of turned them off a little bit to the point that they said, hey, you're asking too much for what's going on. We're going to pivot. And in the end, I think Philadelphia's looking to be in a pretty good spot. Also, Nick Sirianni gave a lot of praise for Reed Blankenship today during his interview, and so it seems like Reed is going to be a starter on that defense, which I think is going to be a you know the right thing for the Eagles to do. The question is, is it Edmonds next to him? I think so. 
or is it somebody else? That remains to be seen. Okay, we have a Wednesday link live tomorrow night, 7 p.m. Eastern time. Again, get your entries in. That's how you do it during the live show for maybe a Bijan Robinson jersey night one of the NFL draft. Of course, the Eagles' first first round draft pick. We're giving away a jersey. Myself, Josh Davis. So get ready for that, 7 p.m. Eastern time on Wednesday. And of course, if you guys have not picked up the Philly inverted hat yet, I'm telling you guys, this thing is absolutely fantastic. Go ahead and pick one up. All the links are down below in the description box, phillyinverted.com. And get ready for what's going to be a very, very exciting next couple of weeks here, not only on the show, not only for the hat, but also for, hopefully, the Philadelphia Eagles and the rest of the National Football League. I'm Thomas Mott. This has been the Thomas Mott Show. I'm